Yo, what up? Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. Do peptides really work? That is the question. Today we're going to be going over how I was able to achieve such great results within 12 to 16 weeks while researching CJC 1295 and Ipamorelin. I'm going to give you guys my exact play-by-play, step-by-step recipe. That way you can achieve results just as I did. I'm all about this. I just want to help people out. I'm not charging for a course here. If you do follow what I do with my daily habits, I guarantee you're going to get remarkable results. Any of these GH secretagogue peptides, you have to put into work to make them work. And I'm going to give you guys that recipe today. With that being said, let's get into it. Let's just start off. These peptides are all case by case. All right. It's not gonna be the same for everybody. It could take three to four months before somebody starts seeing some good benefits from these peptides, quality benefits. What's also very important is we need to make sure that we have a reliable source of peptides. So when I first started off with peptides, I did not have a reliable source. I was just getting them from a doctor that used a compound pharmacy, and I didn't know if the peptides were just weak or not pure at all, but I did not see any benefits. So for me, at first, I was like, peptides are crap. They don't even work. But I knew there was something more to them. So I did my research. I was able to get the reliable source of peptide sciences. As soon as I got my peptides from peptide sciences, it was, the first injection was completely different. My whole face turned red. You can see in this video right here, when I'm talking, my whole face is flushed out. And it's right after I did an injection. So it was right before I was about to go to bed, but my face was just bright, bright red. And it was from the peptides. So it's because the CJC is gonna give you this flushing feeling. And if you do get that flushing, then you know it's a really good sign of good CJC. So now let's just get into it. Do peptides really work? Let's just start off with the very first thing we need to do. So when I wake up in the morning, I drink a big glass of water. When you drink water, it's very important because you have a bunch of inflammation floating around in your body from when you're sleeping at night. So if you drink a big glass of water, it allows you to piss it out and it takes all that inflammation out of your gut and out of your body. Benefits of drinking water upon waking up. It boosts hydration, boosts metabolism, help flush out toxins and inflammation, aids digestion, and promotes healthy habits. How much water should you drink when you wake up? Most sources claim it's best to drink two glasses of water upon waking up. Business Insider suggests 24 ounces, and according to Japanese water therapy, widely used in Japan medicine, it's best to drink about 20 ounces. This equals about 2.5 cups of water. If this seems like a lot, you can gradually increase the amount by starting with eight ounces and adding an ounce every other day. Drinking a big glass of water in the morning is actually gonna give you more energy than coffee as well. So I'll drink anywhere from 24 ounces to 30 ounces in the morning and then do my injection. Three days out of the week, I would split my dosage and then two days, I would do just one big injection before bed. This is when I started to really burn through the weight. So I know that this works. I put myself on a 16 hour window of fasting and an eight hour window of eating. So what I would do is I would fast till 11 a.m. every single morning and then from 11 a.m. till seven, usually about 6 p.m. at night is my time frame for eating. But every day I waited till 11. So if I did my injection at 4.30 a.m. or 5 a.m., I wouldn't even eat until 11 a.m. So that whole time in the morning, I'm just fasting. Benefits of fasting promotes better blood sugar control by reducing insulin resistance, aids weight loss by limiting calorie intake and boosting metabolism, increases secretion of growth hormone, crucial for metabolism, weight loss, and muscle strength. It may help prevent cancer and enhance the effectiveness of chemotherapy. Improving blood pressure, triglycerides, and cholesterols can enhance heart health. Fasting regardless is gonna help you lose weight because you have to get rid of the food that's already stored in your gut. You have to detox. The only way to detox is to fast. People think fasting is bad for you. Fasting is the complete opposite. It's the best thing for you. Bread, if you're eating dairy, or if you're eating sugars in the morning, that's just gonna inflame your gut and it's not gonna be healthy for you. So you're better off first thing in the morning, eating nothing. Have a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, just drink lots of water in the morning. As long as you don't add any cream or sugar to your coffee, anything over 50 calories is gonna break your fast. But if you just have black coffee or tea without adding anything to it, it's not gonna break your fast. So that's fine. I know this sounds a little much, 
but this is how you're gonna get these results, okay? All right, now let's say it's 11 o'clock and you're ready to eat. You're ready to eat breakfast, break fast. What's the most important thing we could do when we break our fast or have breakfast? You gotta have something nutritional. So you gotta have some fruit, maybe some oatmeal, but main thing is you want whole foods. I always recommend eggs and avocado. Eggs, just eggs. If you don't like avocado, eat protein. Very important. Get something healthy that's whole. I don't recommend eating bread first thing because bread is gonna turn starchy sugars and it's gonna just not kick in your metabolism. Breads turn into sugar, sugars turn into fat deposits. Bread is no good for us. Unless you're getting real bread, real wheat germ, if you're making your own bread, do not eat bread when you break your fast. Do not eat dairy when you break your fast because dairy in America, it's pasteurized and it's processed, which means there's no enzymes. No enzymes means it doesn't break down into our body or into our gut properly. So it keeps us inflamed and bloated. A good source of carbs is gonna give you energy. A bad source of carbs is gonna make you carb crash. So good carbs, sweet potato, quinoa, couscous, oatmeal. All these are good sources of carbs. Something healthy and lots of water. Drink another big glass of water. If you want to lose weight, you're gonna have to drink at least 100 ounces of water a day. This is regardless to anything. My clients, I have them drink at least 100 ounces of water a day. Some of them report if they don't get their 100 ounces of water in a day, then they start to gain weight back quickly. But as long as they're consistent with drinking their water every single day, 100 ounces to a gallon, they keep weight off. It's because water is imperative for us to kick in our metabolism and have good hydration. So water is important. Let's go with foods that I eat, all right? Just real quick, lots of eggs, red meat. I like the hamburger patties, I like steak. I don't eat red meat every day, but I do eat red meat probably about three to four days a week. Lots of ground turkey. I like to make tacos, but only with non-GMO corn shells and I'll do only like onion, cilantro, and salsa. So very clean tacos, chicken, all fruits. I do like potatoes, so red potatoes, yellow potatoes. Salmon bowls are really good, it tastes great. If you like fish, if you like salmon, take a little bit of brown rice, piece of grilled salmon or baked salmon, put it on top of that, and then you can take some pico de gallo, a little bit of sauce, and this makes a good salmon bowl. You could even put vegetables in there, you could put arugula, you could put whatever you want but this is a good source of protein and a healthy meal. If I did want a snack, I like peanut butter with celery. I like peanut butter and apples or almond butter with celery and apples. That's a really good snack. Shakes with egg whites. I like personally hemp protein. I like collagen protein and I like pea protein. I notice all those do well with my body. Supplements, if you are gonna take, I love taking minerals, zinc, magnesium, boron, all these types of things are just as important as amino acids. So in your daily diet, in your daily regimen, you should be taking zinc. I like zinc tincture. Um, I noticed that it delivers into my system much quicker than anything else. And I do a magnesium tincture and I do a boron tincture. Make sure that you're drinking BCAs. So BCAs are very important. Branch chain amino acids. It's amino acids like what we're taking. But I do like amino acids regardless because they're gonna help with more muscle recovery. It's gonna help with just overall drinking more water because amino acids taste great if you get a good source. Sauna, if you guys wanna notice great results, get rid of inflammation because everything's on a cellular level, start noticing overall health and wellness, I'd recommend you get yourself into an infrared sauna. Plus infrared sauna or any sauna, you're gonna start increasing your HGH levels that way naturally. So sometimes I would do a sauna and then come home and do an injection after the sauna because I knew my HGH was flowing, I had blood circulation flowing and I knew it was gonna be a good time to do my injection. And I was correct. I would notice I felt great after I did my injection. My skin started to look good. I would get that flushing feeling. And I just noticed, yep, I'm burning fat right now. I feel good. So you can do that after the sauna as well. It's just like doing a hard intensive workout. Doing the sauna and an injection really works as well. One to two days a week, I would do HIIT training. I also started running and I started doing different things that actually would help get me to these results quicker. All these things are gonna help you. I'm 44 years old, I still do all these things. So I don't worry about my age when it comes to this shit, all right? 
You keep doing them. I know people in their 70s that are doing all this shit. I did notice within the first month I started to get results and anybody that starts to see results usually wants that to keep going. So I started to push myself harder and harder and the results started to come quicker and quicker. And that's the one thing I got to address with these peptides. They're not going to work on their own. You have to do the work. When you do the work, these peptides are going to mimic exactly what you're doing and you're going to get the best results. I did these things because I knew if I put myself on this diet regardless, I wouldn't even need peptides. I knew if I just put in the work, I would be able to burn through the weight. It doesn't matter. I do these things with my clients and they don't take peptides. I have them work out, I have them eat healthy, I make sure that they sleep, I make sure they do the sauna, I make sure that they're doing all these things so that way they can achieve results. And within the first two or three months of having a new client, they'll lose the weight anyways. But now let's add peptides to this, it's only gonna enhance. But if you're not doing these things, then you're not gonna enhance anything. Let's talk about one of the most important topics of today. It's gonna be hard for most people to get through their day and then eat a meal and then wait two hours before they do their injection. This is probably one of the hardest things I had to do, one of the biggest steps of self-discipline, because I love to snack at nighttime, especially right before bed. So you're gonna to have to have a lot of self-discipline to kind of just tell yourself no, because you want to be fasted for at least two hours while doing GH peptides, because if you don't fast for two hours, insulin levels are gonna fight for the exact same receptor sites as the secretagogue peptides. So you won't get as good of benefits. This was the hardest thing for me, but once I started to get it down and I wanted to get these results, it didn't become as hard. But you have to fast at least two hours. You have to have self-discipline. It's the only way these peptides work. If you don't have any self-discipline or if you're not willing to change your habits, I wouldn't even waste my money or my time to tell you the truth. So just letting you guys know the hardest thing to do is this injection at night because sometimes you're just gonna be tired. Let's say you eat your food and then you have to wait two hours. And then sometimes when that two hour comes up, you're like ready to go to bed. And then you're like, I don't wanna do my injection. I'm too tired. You have to make sure that you stick to it. You have to make sure that you stick to your guns and you have to wait that two hours and then just freaking do that injection. I guarantee you it's gonna be worth it. And you don't follow the protocols to the T, you're not gonna get the same results. But if you do follow these daily habits that I have, and these different modalities that I have, I guarantee you're gonna get the same results. I guarantee it. Sleeping eight hours is very important. So as soon as you do injection, try to get that eight hours of sleep. This is when your body repairs itself the most and this is when the GH is gonna be released, but you wanna get into that deep REM sleep, all right? And CJC 1295 NODAC will help you get there. You just need to try to get a decent amount of sleep for at least 7.5 to eight hours. It's very important. If you guys are looking to burn fat, the best thing you can do is do two injections. You don't do this every single night. So let's say you're researching five days on, two days off. I would say you can split your dosage three days a week. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, go ahead and do a split dosage. And then on Tuesday and Thursday, it is still imperative that you do one big injection at night before you go to bed, because that's when you get the biggest pulse of GH throughout your system. So I did five and two, three days out of the week, I would split my dosage. And then two days, I would do just one big injection before bed. This is when I started to really burn through the weight and just get shredded. So I know that this works. These peptides will work. You can have little cheat meals and you can have little cheat weekends, but it's not worth it. Just get the most out of these peptides, kick in your metabolism, and then go from there. All right, let's go over some workouts real quick. My workouts in recovery, I would do heavy weight training four days a week, hit classes one to two days a week, walk 30 minutes daily with my dog, go running at the beach or park a couple days a week, infrared sauna four or five days a week, stretch and roll before bed 15 minutes every night. People with injuries, walking on a tread or outside 30 minutes daily will help you get your steps, burn calories and burn fat. Box squats or TRX squats are great for people that don't know how to really perform a squat, newbies or anybody with injuries like knee or back because these will help you sit on your heels, allow you to take away the pressure from the patella. 
Upper body workouts, if you guys don't have shoulder injuries, lift heavier weight, this will help you burn more calories as well as build muscle. If you guys do have any type of injuries with your back, you can strengthen your core and do glute workouts. Glute bridges is one of the most important things we can do because it will strengthen your glutes. And if you have strong glutes, you're gonna have a strong back because they're connected, right? So glute bridges, infrared sauna, four or five days a week is great for people with injuries. Everything is on a cellular level. So taking down inflammation and sweating is really, really gonna help with overall pain management. And then stretching and rolling before bed, 15 minutes every night is essential. Making sure that you are stretched out is really gonna help from preventing injuries and also helping with injuries recover quicker. Workouts at home. If you guys just don't like the gym, I recommend using YouTube videos. I've done it before in the past, especially during COVID, but just making sure you find videos that you can relate to, people you can relate to, putting on a challenging workout. If you need to start with something a little bit less challenging, go ahead and do that, but just get yourself comfortable with working out at home. If you need to order weights, whatever it may be, having some type of assistance, if you guys need any tips or anything, please reach out. Just do something to get yourself going and start getting some workouts. And even with BPC 157, TB 500, and so let's say GHK, if you want these peptides to work even quicker, you gotta work with those too. Eat healthy foods. Don't eat crappy foods. Don't do things that are gonna hurt your body. Do things that are only gonna help your body so that way the peptides work even better more synergistic with whatever you're doing. So, I mean, it's just, it's very important to take responsible action when doing peptides. With that being said, this is Casey with Living Youthful. I hope this video makes sense. I hope I was able to make sense of this video to be able to relay my message, to be able to get you guys quicker results, because that's all I want. At the end of the day, I want to give you guys my recipe to success. But let's just say you, know, you want some support, accountability, I'm definitely here. I will help you guys out. I might start some type of program, but with that being said, this is just free information for you guys to get best results. So this is Casey with Living Youthful. If this video has brought you guys value, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.